And of course, hurricane season begins on uh, June 1st, and hopefully it's not going to be as bad as it was last season. All right, today, well, let's take a look at a beautiful photo. Despite the cloudy skies, there's some cheerful scenes in Connecticut. Paul took this photo in Andover. That is a blue bird, and uh, what a beautiful bird indeed. All right, spring arrives on Saturday, March 20th at 537 in the morning. All right, but between now and then we got some snow to talk about. Cloudy skies over Windsor Locks where it's 47 degrees, so it's not nearly as cold as it was the last two days. 43 degrees in Waterbury, and you know, you go to uh, the Connecticut shoreline. New Haven is also 43 degrees with the light wind from off the chilly water. So that's where the coldest readings are. Groton, New Haven, Bridgeport, over interior portions of the state. Temperatures are in the mid and upper 40s, which is where they should be. The average high for today is 48 degrees, so a normal day for a change. The rough weather is in the deep south, and I mean rough. This is a high-end severe weather event, a high risk, which you don't see too often. A 45% chance for tornadoes in places like Alabama and Mississippi. All these red boxes are tornado watches. Now, for us, the storm will pass out to sea to our south, so we're going to be on the cooler, more stable side, but... Uh, precipitation will come in the form of not thunderstorms, but rain and snow. So Futurecast shows that we'll have partly to uh, overcast skies tonight. Tomorrow morning, cloudy, but at 7 o'clock, it's dry. The rain is going to move in between, oh, say, uh, 9 a.m. and noon, and it's going to be raining tomorrow evening. Then it's around midnight and after when we see the change to snow, represented by the blue. That's going to be a quick snow event. That's why we're not expecting a lot of snow, but it's coming at a bad time. So things are going to be winding down by Friday morning, and then during the afternoon, the sun comes out as dry air moves in, and that's going to set us up for a nice weekend. And, of course, we say hello to spring uh, this weekend. A coating to an inch, maybe two along the I-95 corridor, one to as high as four inches of snow over interior portions of the uh, state. And as far as rainfall goes, we do need it. It's been dry, and as you know, we've had some red flag warnings in effect uh, this week with uh, the wind, the dry conditions. But we got rain coming our way, and anywhere from a half an inch to a maybe an inch and a half of rain before all is said and done. Of course, some of that will come in the form of snow. All right, so lows tonight will be above freezing in many parts of the state. 30s and highs tomorrow, 45 to 50 with the rain. And then we got the snow to contend with Friday morning. It's going to be cold, 40. The weekend starts out cold, 21 Saturday morning. But 48 in the afternoon and 58 on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine. And the temperature rise continues next week, 60 to 65 Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The shoreline, of course, will be a little bit, little bit cooler over the coming days. But tomorrow's high will be around 50 despite the rain. Okay, Bruce, thank you very much.